I have to shoot today's video out on my porch tonight because I'm trying to not uh, keep my friend awake that's having to spend the night. Or, well, Jennifer, she's having to spend the night because she kind of got in an argument with the guy she's living with and stuff. And then she's had a lot of bad luck going on and then her car got stolen. And so, luckily she had a friend though that let her borrow their car so that way she's not without and everything and stuff. And tomorrow I got my orientation for my new job. But right now they're asleep in my bed and I'm going to sleep on the couch. If I even go to sleep, that is. I might stay up and then go to sleep after that. But today's been so eventful. My mind's still kind of... But I just want to go ahead and shoot the video and get it over with. Because I honestly just want to settle into the night. And, because I've been... Let's see... What was it? Oh, that's right. I went to the bank. That way I could get a paper. And <clears throat> I ended up, ta it ended up taking so long because them talking to me and everything that I had to go to gymnastics with them. And then from there, we went and got something to eat. And then, uh, we came back and everything, and she kind of got into an argument with him and everything because, like, he's not being as nice as he could be, which, I mean, you know, it's his choice and everything, but then again, it's his choice, you know. It is what it is. But so I'm letting her stay here and everything. That way she's not having to put up with him because she's really angry. <laughs> I guess you could say, or not really angry, but she's just upset. But anyways, I'm actually just going to go ahead and shoot this real quick little video and go ahead and end it here and everything, but yeah, and then uh, she takes me or whatever, and she's like, I feel like I'm being punished. And I was just like, no, like, you make decisions in life and you live with them. You're the one that makes decisions. You know, that's one thing that my grandmother always, always said to me. And as a matter of fact, that's another thing, too, I was going to talk about real quick. And I'll go ahead and spit it out. Um, I called my grandmother because it was last night that she found out that her car got stolen. And so I was like, oh, you know, it'll be all right and everything. And I was like, you know, we'll figure it out or you'll figure it out. It'll be all right. And then I was like, well, is there anything I can do? You know, and I know my options, you know, and you got to be adaptable as best as you can. And so I was just like, well, one of my options is to maybe actually flat out ask to borrow my uh, grandmother's truck. And so I called her and asked her and she said she'd think about it and see what she could do and everything. But I've been asking to borrow that truck for about seven damn years now. And she ain't let me do it before. So, or however long that they've been driving it. I know they've been driving it for a long ass time. Yeah, seven damn years. Oh. Yeah. Did you have my call Yeah, uh, it's still. Okay. Yeah. Hold on one second. But, uh, my grandmother, she's always been one to be like, you make decisions in life and you live with them. And I agree with that. I really do. You make decisions in life and you live with them. And you just try to stay on making good decisions is the best way I can word it, in all honesty. And that's even like my family dealing with me and stuff. It's kind of like, okay, they don't want to help me as much as they probably in all, all honesty could 
because they're tired by the time I come around needing help. They don't have time and stuff. And so I just get the leftover bits and pieces. I gotta make do with them and then they want me to be as nice to them, I guess you'd say, as everybody else is. And I can be respectful, but when they disrespect me and they treat me worse than other people, I just can't. But anyways, so, yeah. I called my grandmother and asked her if I could borrow the truck. She said she'd see what she could do. I might try to call her back in another day or two. I might just leave it alone and not call her no more. But I'm just, you know, trying like everybody else and trying to keep my life together and trying to, you know, make the best decisions I know how and trying to figure out how to be independent and come about being independent and everything. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, but when I was talking to my grandmother, like, she was all on the same normal kick. She was telling me about her stuff and everything, and that's the thing, too. She said to me, uh, she mentioned about my Uncle Richard. She's like, oh, yeah, your Uncle Richard was the only one that cared about you. I've never really expressed that to anybody in my family. I've only expressed it on a YouTube video. So, people are talking. But I was just like, whatever. And then that's like her even asking about me being at my old job. I know she knows that I'm not working. I know she knows it. I wish she would just admit it. But instead, she's going to ask me questions and be like, so what time do you go into work? And I was sitting there and I was like, late? Because I'm still going to be working the afternoon shift or whatever or the late shift at my new job. Because I'm done used to working late shift, you know. And so I was like, late, you know, because I, I wasn't going to go into the details with her, but I'm not lying to her because she's not asking the right questions, you know. And it's not that I do this to everybody. I don't do this to everybody. If, if you're a first, third, fourth, fifth, whatever time asker of a damn question that, I, you know, like you don't know, like if you really don't know it, I'll answer you. But if you you're pretending that you don't know it, I'll still answer you. But the thing is, is I've been around my grandmother since the day I was born, and I'm tired of her shit because she never wants to admit to what she knows. She wants to be like a snake in the grass. She wants to know everything. She wants to know behind the scenes, but she won't talk to you about it. And instead, she'll try to get you to lie to her so that way she can make herself feel better about the way that she treats you dirty. Because my grandmother, I hate to say it, but she's... Very two-faced. She's a Gemini, though, so they got the kind, sweet t twin, and then they got the evil one that'll lie and manipulate and all kinds of stuff. And, like, boy, have I seen it. Because, like I said, she's the one that pulled me aside whenever my dad was beating me and stuff and, like, told me that I better not tell anybody at school and everything. But anyway, so I'm shooting my video out here because I didn't want to wake them, but Jen got up just a second ago because... She's got, like, some type of anxiety pill that she left out in the car or something. I don't know, some type of medicine that I, it's a prescription, but I grabbed it out of the house for her. And she says she's got to take it because if she don't, it makes her feel real bad and stuff or whatever. But I don't know. Life. Life, life, life. But you keep getting up, you keep doing your best, you keep putting your best foot forward, and that's all I can say for anybody. And if anybody wants to chat, they can hit me up on my Facebook Messenger. You know, if you like my videos, like I've said before, or whatever, you can, you know, comment, share, like, or subscribe. If you see it'll benefit anybody for as far as helping them out and letting them know that they're not the only ones struggling and having it rough and all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and end this here because it's cold as hell out here. I would like to do it inside, but like I said, I'm trying to be respectful since they're here and her kids here and stuff and everything and her kid like we literally just got here a few minutes ago so they're not like fully asleep obviously because Jen got up but <laughs> anyway I'm gonna end it here I'll let you go keep putting your best foot forward you need somebody to talk to you can hit me up on my Facebook messenger just wake up keep trying just keep on keeping on I'll catch you later